Jordan found an incredible spot over here. This uh, log and a fire pit and look at this view behind us here. Really incredible. And lots of mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. longest time I was saying to my wife, I just need to unplug and go to the mountains for a while and recharge. Finally, she says, well, no one is stopping you. Go do it. So I set out on this adventure with our 16-year-old son, Jordan, who just got his driver's permit. Four-wheeling, camping, fishing, ghost towns, gold mines, waterfalls. It's a trip I've been dreaming of doing with him for years. We'd like to invite you to join us on this eight-part Colorado series as we explore places like Cinnamon Pass, American Basin, Animus Forks, Yankee Boy Basin, and Engineer Pass. It's going to be the trip of a lifetime. So hit that like button now, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss a single episode. The adventure begins here. We're coming through the town of Westcliff, Colorado, where last year we made an attempt to summit Hermit Pass. Due to vehicle limitations, we only made it to Hermit Lake, and after thinking and obsessing over it for the last year, we are back here at Hermit Pass once again. This year, we're in our Gladiator, the Blue Baron, and we are determined to finish this trail this time. just passed somebody coming down the trail asking if if I was familiar with the area um, asking if I knew where there's some campsites at he was driving his dad's um, not quite sure what it was just a, a little car but uh, he made it to this spot right here and he could not make it any further Hermit Pass courses through part of the San Isabel National Forest. There are many dispersed campsites on this trail but we hadn't gotten that far just yet these campsites are earned you have to get past the gatekeepers first. The terrain this year was very rocky, much more than one year ago. In fact, I was quite surprised by how rocky it was. Rains this year had washed away the dirt, leaving a very rocky terrain exposed. We were also on the hunt for a campsite, one with an epic view. After driving for the last three days, we were really looking forward to setting up the tent and making supper. I had a goal in mind for the day though, I wanted to make it past where we stopped last year before we made camp for tonight. So right now we are looking for a campsite for the night and we have come across several beautiful campsites. Uh, a bunch of meadows and uh, this one right here, actually we came across a group site um, maybe half a mile back, that was really nice. Uh, just kind of making a mental note of some of these places. We might come back for them, but I think we're gonna we're gonna try to keep on going and find a really a one with a really nice view for the night. But check this out. This is beautiful. Somebody's dog back in there. There he is. Almost at the point where we were at last year when we called it quits. Um, it's about time we need to find a campsite. It is time to to make camp here. Um, I'm gonna try to make it past Hermit Lake. We're just creeping along here, two, three mile an hour. Just good. We're making it. 
Gladi Gladiator's doing great. On stock suspension and stock tires. And we have not hit bottom once. So we're doing it. It's it's not a big deal. I mean it's But I think uh, our insides have been rattled about enough for a day. <laughs> so it's time to find camp and give it a rest for a little bit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We found an incredible campsite for the night. The view was spectacular, and I could not wait to see the sunrise over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the morning. I set up my computer to empty off the camera SD card from the day, and while that processed, I couldn't help but get a couple of Instagram reels. Jordan had wandered away for a moment. He's always been somewhat of a loner, and has a knack for finding peaceful places to just be. I thought I'd check out what he had found. Jordan found an incredible spot over here. This uh, log in a fire pit, and look at this view behind us here. Really incredible. And lots of mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. We set up the tent, and after lighting the fire, I got to work cooking supper. It had been a long day on the trail, and we were hungry. Tonight, we were looking forward to stir fry and crab, and I must confess, in the back of my mind, I was really hoping that there were no bears nearby. I hit the spot. Well, at least for Jordan, anyhow. While eating supper, we had a visitor. Hey, dear. Get on out of here, dear. Go on, Miz. Go on. 
on with your day. Get on out of here. And after bidding our guest farewell for the night, we cleaned up and went to bed. Sunrise the next morning had to be the most spectacular I had ever seen. I was in awe as I was capturing this on camera. Turns out, this is actually how the Sangre de Cristo Mountains got their name. In 1719, a Spanish explorer was impressed at sunrise by the red tinted peaks and uttered a fervent Sangre de Cristo, or Blood of Christ. Wednesday today? Yes. No, what? Yes. <laughs> well, good morning, friends. It's Wednesday, and we are officially on a recovery mission. Uh, we put the drone up to get some incredible sunrise footage this morning, and we got caught in high winds. We think so... you learned that for the first time. <laughs> so now we are on a recovery mission. We're, we're going to try to find this drone. I think it's about a um, 1,000 feet from us, roughly, give or take. I have a location here, so hopefully we can find this thing. <laughs> we really need to find this thing. I knew the winds had been picking up. In an attempt to get one last shot of Hermit Lake, I took the drone up to 350 feet above ground level. When I did, it got caught in the wind, and there was no bringing it back. I kept the camera rolling though, and was able to choose a spot to land. Fortunately, that spot was just to the side of the trail. Oh man, we found it. I'm so relieved. I had, I had the location of it and uh, I could see on the camera. I put it down one row. And, uh, the wind was just too high to get it back up to where we are, but here it is. Scary stuff when you're losing a couple thousand dollar drone right there. I tell you what, man. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> I specifically tried to put it down on the road to make it easier to find. Worked out well this time. So let's get on the trail again and get some more footage. Yeah, we're back on this bumpy part of the road again. It is very, very rocky. Yeah, I can see that. <coughs> and I think the camera can too. Holy smokes. All right, people, now as you can see, this road we're on right now is quite rocky. Oh, look, there are some deer over there. Anyway, um... <laughs> Where do you see deer? Oh, they're right over there. See them? They're moving. Right there. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, now, I believe this is the final stretch up to Horseshoe Lake, so uh, we're gonna keep at it. Horseshoe Lake was the reason we were doing this trail in the first place. But as we continued to climb, the road got increasingly more difficult, and at a couple of points, it even seemed to disappear. It's getting a tad bit sketchy, yeah? So, uh, Just a tad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is normally a situation where we would have an eye in the sky, in the uh, drone, to see where we're going. However, it's a... Um, <clears throat> well, to put it lightly, it's a tad bit too windy to have that thing out. And we still have a while to go before we reach the end of the trail. So, we're gonna keep at it and uh, hope that we don't die. <laughs> we just came around this corner here and saw something you guys are really gonna wanna see. This is what we've been waiting for. This is Horseshoe Lake on Hermes Pass. Check it out.
I was starting to have thoughts in the back of my head. This road is getting pretty gnarly. What if we can't make it to the top again? No, failure is not an option. We will make it to the top. to the top of Hermit Pass. What an incredible journey. Oh my word, there's probably about a hundred mile an hour winds outside right now. Um, I was out for a little bit and I mean, it, the wind just wants to push you right off. I mean, it is windy, I'll tell you what. Oh, anyhow. We um, are precariously parked on the edge. We are, we are parked on the edge of the cliff for, uh, for the good uh, Instagram shot, you know. Um, Hey, it's been fun. Thanks for joining us. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment. We made it. That's the important thing. We made it. We finished Hermit Pass. Yes, we did. All right. I'd like to think that we learned some kind of real valuable lesson in tenacity and achieving goals from this trail. And while that may be the case, I think the real lesson is coffee before drones. And watch out for high winds. I had plans to make coffee at the top of Hermit, but it was just too windy. It ended up being lunchtime that day before I got coffee, and all you coffee drinkers know what that means. Anyhow, we are heading to the San Juan Mountains in western Colorado in our next video, Cinnamon Pass and American Basin, and what an incredible place that is. Make sure and hit that like button on this video, and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next one. The adventure has just begun.